This is Nigel Thompson. In 2016, he entered a 48-hour film competition with his friend Tim. Nearly two years later, they are still filming. So, uh, Nigel, what are we doing uh, out here today? Oh, uh, well, we're going out to film the most important scene of the film today. Uh, we've got Tim here, he's playing our main man. He's like the hero of the whole piece. And like, he's chasing people and being chased down. We've gone out looking for this location, it's beautiful. I scouted for ages and ages. I bought this new equipment, I've got this new camera. It, oh, honestly, mate, it's gonna be incredible. Okay, so we're going for the most important shot of the film today. Like, we've got our lo lost Roman centurion who's gonna be chased across the forest. Oh, I'm and like, yeah, you would be cold. You're a Roman centurion in Britain. It's bloody cold here, isn't it? Can I put trousers on? No, because it's not historically accurate, is it? I suppose. Uh, Nigel, is all this gunfire in the background going to mess up your sound? It's, it's production value, mate. It's a future war that's happening. Like our lost centurion, he's like in the future somewhere, and like that's that's the sound of the death of humanity in the background. Like that's production value. Good. Good. Okay, right, hang on, wait. When did I tell you to get the guns? Well, I thought we were in the future wars. Yeah, but you're a Roman centurion, like the guns should be in the prop box. We need like the sword or something. Well, I like guns. Ah! Who'd have thought the future would be full of damn dirty orcs? Sorry, can, can we do this with the guns? No, because that's the sword you got off the princess two scenes ago. Like, it's got magic powers and stuff for fighting the orcs. Like, you can't use the guns. Mm, if you say so. Ah, swing! Ah, swing! Ah, the orcs ah, are coming! Ah, ow! Ah, Stop hitting me, Tim! Ah, ow, ow. Ah, ow. Okay, Tim, look up here. I'm like, I'm the flying orc that killed your father. I'm coming in for you, I'm gonna attack. I'm, I'm... Oh. Ah, my coccyx. Ah. After his quick switch from filmmaker to unwitting tree plunger brought an end to the day's filming, it seemed that only Tim's caring nature was preventing Nigel's slide into despair. Um, not quite as epic as I uh, was kind of hoping, but um, we've got the green screen though, so I reckon we're going to be able to fix that. Uh, today is all about effect shots. Uh, I've bought this green screen that's going to complement my brand new camera here. Uh, obviously, Tim's helping me to like fill out the scene and make the, the film feel a bit more like fleshed out and he's going to be playing all these different characters and obviously he's going to be wearing different costumes and stuff because like he's a versatile actor and everything but he can't play every role looking the way he does we're, we're going to have to do a bit of work there but I reckon that the computer is probably going to fix most of those problems I need to see the full range of emotions from you this is like this is an epic right here you're going to be happy and sad and like everything so okay right your parents have just died in front of you the orcs are winning Okay, right, that's good, that's good. Okay, but now your girlfriend has walked in and she's seen you crying and you feel embarrassed about it. Right, and th now there's an orc, he's coming in behind your girlfriend. What are you gonna do about it? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, you're, you're a man of action. Kiss your girlfriend. Okay, so basically what we're moving on to now is everything with the orcs and we've uh, obviously with our budget We're just gonna have Tim use some makeup and we've got our green screen so that we can like get him dressed up like How the orcs How about this? Oh, uh, Tim, no, the, the orcs are green mate, like not that one. Oh, okay so um, yeah, so yeah, he's gonna be every orc in the film. Like, I, obviously, he's a very versatile actor. You've probably seen The green on the green screen? Yeah Returning to Nigel's house two days later, it was clear that tensions between him and Tim were mounting. Okay, so next weekend we'll go out again and we'll get some more of those shots and I reckon that'll get us like really close to finishing off this time. Like, we are literally so close. Yeah, but look, Nigel, there's no money. There's no but money we're, to do this. No, stop we're, we're so close to this being done and you're like, don't start causing problems now. 
I'm, I'm not. I'm trying to say, like, I've always been your facilitator in that. Like, there's no money, and this thing was like... Hey, was, whoa, whoa, whoa. It's not Ma was... Money's not the problem. You need to be willing to make the art. And I'm willing, you're not willing anymore. There's no money. You know what? I, I don't need to hear this anymore. I'm, I'm gonna go out for a walk, because I need to clear my mind and get straight about this, because I'm gonna finish this film with or without you. Nigel. Nigel. Oi, don't follow me, okay? Nigel, Nigel, wait. Nigel. Nigel. Oh, God, no. Nigel, Nigel. Nigel, Nigel. You're right. You're right. Ah, oh, it's my coccyx again.